Johnny football. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. The Browns QB is back in the headlines after another video surfaced of him on social media, courtesy of BustedCoverage.com. So in this video, you can see that Menzel is singing along to the song March Madness by rapper Future. Head coach Mike Pettin said he would have another conversation with their starting QB. So the question we asked is video, big deal, no big deal. Will? It's uh, nothing. It's nothing. nada. No big deal. It's nothing. I mean, how old is Manziel now? 24? 12. 12. <laughs> uh, 12 going on. 24. 12. 12. 12. 12 right Actually, now. that's a really good point, Scoop. Uh, <laughs> it's immature behavior at best. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't get the whole Periscope, Vine, look at me, look at me, look at me stuff. But that being said, he's younger than me. That's, that's how they roll. And what's the worst you can say about this? He was having, you just told, I mean, I remember Four Loco when it had caffeine and alcohol. The <laughs> FDA said no, no to that. So now it's just alcohol? Okay, so he's having a beer, he's rapping, and looking at his phone doing some look at me. What's so bad about that? This, it's nothing. It's, it's, it's a nada. big deal because it's Johnny football and he keeps doing stuff like this. If he had earned Stuff the, like what? Showing up on video. Listen, listen, when he got the chance to become the starter, the full-time starter, what happens? A video shows up, he's up in the club, he's behind the DJ booth. He's got alcohol in his hands. It looks like he's not responsible in right. taking his job seriously. You really look at this video and you say, stuff like I, this. I don't. You see something indictable in this video. I don't, but there are other people out there that do. And the organization, his head coach, has basically said, you need to take your job seriously. So why is he putting out another video? And if this were Eli Manning and he's showing up doing this, then everybody gives him the benefit of that. He's earned that right. That is not a big deal. But for him, Everything is a big deal with Johnny Football, so just stay off social media. Stop with the video. And it looks like he's taking that video himself, not another person. Yeah, and I think here, I, I, I agree with Owen, is that perception becomes nine-tenths of the rule. You know, and in this situation with Johnny Manziel, the, it's innocent. But in his case, with his track record of what he's perceived to be, and he hasn't lived up to it on the field, basically, you know, and he's had some off-the-field situations, too, where he already has, has already had to go to rehab. You know, this isn't the smartest thing in the world. I understand that he is young and he is immature, but when does that stop and when do you get to the point where you understand that in the public's mind and in your employer's mind that how you are perceived does play a role right. in this? Now look, 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 here's the thing. If he was playing like Cam Newton, maybe we're not having this discussion. Mm -hmm. But he's not. Exactly. Look, and, and he has to, the thing about it, he good, may be innocent, way. but he's not playing Cam Newton level. And in order to get a pass on this, you have to understand you can't do this no. until you get there. Look at the language. Without us talking about it. Um and Scoop, look at the language you're using. You're talking about to some people. You say perception is reality. That's no way to live your life. You cannot let the tail wag the dog. Then don't dig a hole for yourself. Just do what's right or wrong by your own standards and merits. If you sit in every instance and calculate how will this be perceived, you will fail at every single but that, thing. That but that's so normal. Hold on. Wait, 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 let me finish my Johnny point. Johnny Football is not a normal guy. I mean, listen to what his reputation point. is. Yeah, on the merits, this video is a big bag of nothing. You're right. And he cannot sit there and go wonder what the Twittersphere it's or not the big the lead wheel. or ESPN's going to think of this. It's the ownership of the Cleveland Browns. What do, do they get to a point where like, you, okay, let me ask. So if you own the Cleveland, this is your team. You're looking at this with the history that he's had and you all spending extra money outside of your contract with him trying to get him to understand the responsibility that it takes to run this organization and run this franchise. If you see and this, what, you're cool with it. And what Responsibility did he fail by going? I don't know the lyrics. But I don't know. <laughs> what, what responsibility did but, but this Will, fail? You, you hit the point where you just said he's not going on the phone and thinking what 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 should I do? This this shouldn't go on the Twitter sphere. You know how many people have probably told him stop doing what you're doing. Be careful what you're doing. And if he's not hesitating for a moment before putting another thing out there, even if it is innocent, even if he is in his house, thank God he's not doing anything up in the club. How many times have people probably told him, yo, Ed, chill out, stop from, doing from stuff the, like the this? The organization has told him that. Right. That's my point. I know they've told him that. So it's like my point is you would ask him, hey, what is your point, Johnny? <laughs> what's your point in doing this? Well, what's the point half the stuff anybody does? So what's your point in doing this because you're, you, ma you're making Johnny Manziel prove it's right instead of proving to me or Johnny Manziel that it's wrong. But he's not just anybody. I'm That's not the saying, problem. right. 
He's not just anybody. Here's the deal. This is much, in my estimation, this is much ado about nothing. And this is not coming from somebody who's a Johnny Manziel defender. I like him. I wish he would, would I wish it came together for Johnny. But if you want to fire Johnny or you want to really come down on Johnny, please, please, you've got bigger things. You've got better evidence than this stupid video. He but lied to Mike Patton on the last video. That right there, that's indictable to me. But when when Mike Patton says, Did, is that you in a club? And he says, no, coach, that's from years ago. And then goes to his buddy and say, hey, lie to coach when he's asked you about this. That is not a leader. Somebody who's willing See, to lie to defend themselves. I don't want that person leading my team, but please don't give me faux outrage about a selfie, periscope, vine, whatever it is, video. Well, the thing but is, Will, Will, it's Will, nothing. Will, you're missing what we're saying. We're putting that on top of what you're saying. It's like you still don't get it's it. It's a cumulative effect. Yes, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm not even... But then he can't win. I'm then not even, can't I'm win not even outraged but about it. But him... I'm sorry, go ahead, man. I'm, I'm not even outraged about it. And I'm a guy that wants to see Johnny Manziel do good. I actually want to see Johnny Manziel as a starter and see what yes. he can do in this league. I, I don't want to see any more jersey. videos. I don't want to see him in the club. I want to see him on the field. I want to see him turn things around with his reputation so that we're just talking about his play and not stuff like this. I want to see him get it. So let me ask you, Will. I just want to see him get it. When you see him taking a video and he's clearly at a party and he's clearly drinking alcohol, does that mean you're completely dismissing the fact that he went into rehab during the offseason in January and February? Does that mean you're completely disregarding that? And before the segment, you told us Four Loco has alcohol, by the way. And that's a good point because he has been to rehab. Is he drinking alcohol right here? Is he supposed to be cold turkey and never have a (laughs) beverage again? Can he do moderation like most human beings? I don't know the answer to these things, and I'm not going to judge it. it, That's true. We don't know what he went to rehab for. And he's dealing with alcoholism. That means that you're not allowed to have any alcohol. So we don't know. We don't know that aspect. That's true. I just think we're looking at this and making. You, you both make a, a great point that what we're doing is we're adding this on top of everything else. That it's just another piece of evidence on a character that I think you've already indicted. And by the way, not incorrectly, but make your decision on big moments, not little moments. This is a little nothing moment. If you wanted to come down on Johnny Menzel, do it when he does something big. And he has. He has given you reason to come down on him. Don't you think every little moment ends up being a big moment, especially with no. the cumulative effect? That's what I said. I think they just <laughs> add up and add up. And like I said, just act like you get it. Listen, from an athlete's perspective, I just think it's it's really not that difficult to stay out of trouble, especially whether it's an athlete or public eye, stay out of trouble and watch who you hang around with because that's that's that can certainly play into things. All right, so who's staying, who's not? That is the question some NFL teams are now facing as the last week of